you're Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I'm gonna show you what's in my vacation art bag. Woohoo! Vacation. Love it. Summertime. Time to get out there and paint. And if you are spending a week somewhere, like at a lake or, I don't know, camping or whatever, you might want a some to-go crafty goodness. So here, in this, this is just a messenger bag in the front pocket. I don't have too much in here. This is kind of the afterthought pocket. I have a little bit of sponge, a little pencil sharpener, a uh, craft knife for sharpening pencils as well. I've got an eraser and what else is in here? I think that's about it actually in the front pocket. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a dime. Make a phone call. <laughs> Not these days, <laughs> I don't think. All right, so let's undo the straps here and open this up. And we have um, my my new um, Snap by Princeton brushes I just reviewed the other day. I'm going to bring those because I think they're great quality. They're going to do what I need to do. And if I fall out of a canoe while I'm painting and they end up in the bottom of the pond, I'm not going to be too upset. I've got a couple of mechanical pencils, water brush, a spray bottle of water. This is kind of fun. I think this came free with something at one point. This is just a, uh, you blow it up and it's a collapsible water bucket. So um, I know, I mean, they'll probably be plastic cups or something that I could use, but if not, I've got that. A little spray bottle of water to wet my watercolor paper. Uh, I've got my Micron pens, so I can do some pen and ink, some quick sketches and pen and ink, and then watercolor them. And here I've got my Koi travel set right here. There we go, with a little water brush, my little piece of credit card scraper, and the little sponges in there, which are handy. And I do have um, a little pack of watercolor postcards that I can actually put in there as I, you know, merrily row my boat along and do some painting, hopefully not falling in the pond. <laughs> we'll see. I'll tell you all about it when I get back, which will probably be tomorrow because this is going to go up the day I return back from vacation, so that's how that goes. Um, and then I'm going to open up my bag here. Oh, extreme close-up. So what we have in here is, I, uh, I gen generally wouldn't bring so many colored pencils, but I just ordered these. Um, I've been wanting to try them for quite a while, and I've gotten so many requests on tutorial uh, tutorials for these that um, I did order the Spectrum Noir colored pencils. They were on sale for $16 or 16 something at consumercrafts.com, and I had free shipping because I had a few other things I wanted to get, so I did snag them, and um, I have played with them a little bit. I'm pretty excited, but I want to spend the week just exploring them before I give my final, give my review on them. A little baggie of some torn down watercolor paper, including my watercolor postcards. I've got this uh, paper, which I really like, but it's discontinued, I think. It's a Canson sketchbook, and um, I love it for colored pencils because, there's something I did with colored pencils there, um, because I like to work on colored paper. And um, actually, it's funny, though I use this, and I on I did a painting with colored pencils on this, and it was one of the first things I got published back in 2008, and um, when they went to source the, uh, the sketchbook so they could put that in the materials list description in the magazine, it was no longer available. So, um, Canson, if you're watching this, bring this back. This was really great. I really enjoyed that. Um, and and then I also have this pad of, um, I've been hoarding this. This was a gift. I think my mom got it for me. I'm pretty, in fact, I know my mother got this for me. It's a uh, Strathmore, Strathmore Field Journal, and it's got this uh, hard cover. It's spiral bound, so it folds flat, and it has um, drawing paper and watercolor paper in, interleaved. So I could do a sketch with my um, what, my colored pencils, and I could do a painting over here. It's just, I, I think the reason I haven't used it is because, um, or maybe I use one piece because it looks like I cut a piece out of here, is because I tend to, even my sketches, I don't tend to keep them. I usually just mat them, throw them in my sale print rack. And um, I think for something like this, where my paintings will actually be like a scrapbook, I'm going to keep them, and this will be a great journal uh, opportunity to keep them together. So I'll let you know, you know, probably tomorrow I'll actually be back. I'm actually back today when this video shows up, but uh, so tomorrow I'll probably share with you what I did end up creating on my trip. So there's a little pocket in the back, and uh, let's take a look in here. I took some uh, deli paper and I just stuck a roll of washi tape around it. This is for if I use um, pastels. I'm bringing these uh, these pastels. Um, I can actually put a piece of deli paper over it. It'll act like glassine. It will protect the uh, sheet next to it since I don't have any fixative to bring. So I'm bringing those pastels and the deli paper, and then I can use a washi tape to make a little um, a little. To, to adhere it to make a little hinge so I can put the uh, the deli paper in place of glassine, you know, just in my sketchbook. You'll see what I mean when I show you the uh, when I when I show you the uh, what I made thing. And then I've got my little tin of water these uh, woodless watercolor pencils and these ink tense blocks, which are like woodless watercolor pencils. But the colors are different between these two sets, so I think that they will be really good together. And that's what I'm bringing on vacation. So we'll see you tomorrow, and you can see what I made during my week away. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. And until next time, happy crafting.